So in this video, we're going to look at how you create a three-tier link drop-down. Um, the three-tier link drop-down will be a hierarchical list where you have three fields. Um, you select a value in the first field, and that will change the list that will show in the second field. You select a value in the second field, and it will change the list that shows in the third field based on the hierarchy that you're selecting. Now this is quite easy to do in, um, in Workflow First. So we'll start out by creating the category fields that are going to hold the hierarchy. So first we will click on the configuration tab called standing data. And in here we'll add a category one field, which will be a nested list. Category one will have a title field and a category, whoops, category two which will be a nested list. Now notice this is inside category one. We expand category two and add a title field to that, and also a category three field to that, which will be a nested list. And then in category three, we just want the title field, which we're not gonna go any deeper than that. Okay, so those are our three category fields, um, understanding data. We'll just publish that and see what that looks like. Okay, that publishes. We click um, the link. Click on the configuration tab. And you'll see some data that I entered in earlier um, with one, two, three in there. When I click on one, there's some subcategory data under category two, which is called 1A, 1B, and 1C. When I click on 1A, we'll see some subcategory data for 1A1, 1A2, and 1A3. Okay, so we have that data in there. So now let's go back to our demo app and we'll add a list in here where we can select these fields. So we'll just add a, uh, a top level tab which will be a nested list. And inside this list we're going to add field 1, field 2 and field 3. These are going to be the three fields where we can select the different levels of the category hierarchy. So we will um, start out by editing each of these to make them into links. So we click edit over here, put the link. We drill down from standing data into category one. Let's update that. Um, let's go back to our, our list here. We click edit for field two. Now for this, we want to go down not to category one, but inside that to category two. And workflow first is automatically going to understand that this is going to be um, underneath the, the whatever selected in the previous field. And then for category three, again, we just click the drill down, category one, category two, down to category three. All right, so let's publish that and we'll see what it looks like. A couple of seconds later, let me refresh this. And now we have our list um, tab at the top. Let's click list. We'll click plus. Now you notice that we see the three fields, but field two and field three are gray. Are gray. That's because we cannot type in them yet because we need field one to be selected before we know what is going to show up in the list for field two and field three because they're dependent. So for field one, we select one. And now for field two, we see we have one A, one B, and one C. If I select 2 in here, then in here we have 2a, 2b, and 2c, because that, um, because those are the values underneath that selection. Let's go back to 1, because I know I have data under there. When I go to 1a, and then we'll see in field 3, we have 1a1, 1a2, 1a3. That is how you create um, a uh, three-tier dependent uh, link drop-down field.